Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 XBLA review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Erect Revenge Revisited, which I'm looking at for about the fourth time. I've had to re record this again and again due to mistakes and other problems, which I won't bore you with if you've never played it before. And it's Think Mashed. If you've never played Mashed before, then it's basically a Micro Machines crossbred with Mario Kart Crash Team Racing game. Um, I used to adore Mashed, I've still got it on the Xbox because the re-released Mashed were a load of extra content and I think they called it Drive to Survive. I honestly just still call it Mashed and I know that that one still works on the 360. play it quite a lot because it is one of my all time favourite multiplayer games and this could possibly be even better than that, especially if they're going to support it with DLC. But it only looks like we're going to get three DLC packs. I am going to be doing the Highway to Hell DLC because I've already got it and I will probably re review the other two DLC packs or hopefully more when they come out. Anyway, at the start you've got single player, multiplayer, it's four player offline and online. I'll show some of the offline off and uh, explain yet again why I don't like the online of a game because this one is so laggy it's unbelievable. I, I waited 20 minutes to get a game that jumped all over the place and I ended up giving up with it. Um, Leaderboards and achievements are self-explanatory. Most of the achievements are for the awful single player, which is a shame. Help and options. Um, you can view your controls, and that's about it. You can't change them, but they do work is what they are, so it's not particularly bad that you can't change them. Still, though, customization is always nice. Downloadable content obviously downloadable content. So, into the single player, you've got challenges, downloadable content challenges. You get two tracks with a DLC, one car and two weapons. And this is why I think there's only going to be three, because if you look at this screen here, where it's got the speed, weapon, skill and elite challenge for the DLC, and then quickly look at the single player, it would say to me that we're going to get another four tracks, which would be another two packs. And it's the same with the weapons as well. The weapon screen looks as if there's enough for another four weapons, and if you get two per pack. So that's why I think we'll get three total. Anyway, the single player, you can go into the garage, you can go into it on the multiplayer as well, and earn experience in the offline. I don't know if you can online, because as I say, the only time I've ever managed to find a game, it was so bad everyone got kicked out of the game. Uh, but basically you earn experience and with that you can unlock different car models which all seem to play identical to each other it's just literally an aesthetics thing because you can unlock different types of paint and basically customize your ride to how you like it to look so it's purely done so that we're not all racing in the exact same car over and over again anyway why is the single player awful well quite simply it's not mashed slash wrecked it's not the actual game that you're going to be playing all the time on the multiplayer they've added different things to it so for example here i'm not allowed to touch anything otherwise i'll die and it's quite boring incredibly frustrating because of the awful camera it doesn't work at all in the single player it's the same camera for the multiplayer but it does actually work as stupid as it sounds but for the single player you're constantly getting blind spotted on things especially this one if you're doing well the camera will stick with you and then it means if you're going over a hill which hopefully I'll be able to show because it's just around this corner I just don't have to mess it up there we go it's doing it total blind spot couldn't see that coming I only knew what was there because I've done it before and even then it's still impossible to avoid well almost impossible and it's the same with all of them really that the speed one to be fair you'll get blindsided from every now and then going and going off the track which will ruin your speed weapons the whole point is you complete laps and blow cars that's okay with the camera skill challenges you collect and tokens and it's just as bad as elite because if there's a big star token worth a load of points around a blind spot and you miss it, you may miss out on getting gold. So the single player is pretty damned awful. I can't stand it. It's annoying that like five of the achievements or something are for the single player. And it's annoying that it's going to be the best way for you to get EXP because you're not always going to be able to play the multiplayer. And you're going to probably want to unlock some stuff sooner. Anyway though, this is the local multiplayer and the whole point with mashed and wrecked and all that is always about customization. So as I say, you get six tracks with a regular game and two with a DLC, so eight so far and then there'll be more DLC. Ice Bridge is the one that everyone's mentioning and the reason for that is because it's probably the best one. So I'll show that one off. Game settings, you can fully customise everything. It's just a shame that you can't with the camera for the single player or the uh, 
option or the um, controls but for the actual game options you can so you can choose how many points you want to win in the two player three player four player game you can choose the end game to be short medium long or just have it off completely you can have the elimination line to be short medium or long you can have handling normal fast and grippy slow and skiddy fast and skiddy slow and grippy so for now because i'm on a nice track i'll go for normal um you can have power-ups and this is what I mean by the second menu. It looks like there's enough room to fit another four weapons, which would be right for another two DLC packs. But you can fully customise your weapons, so you can switch anything on or off. There's some really good ones, and there's some basic ones like machine gun and mine. So I'm just going to switch those off for now in an attempt to show the better ones. Um, switch the mortar off as well. And switch the shields off, because who wants to be able to defend? There we go. Uh, airstrikes, you can get a choice of five different airstrikes, Skybeam, Swapper, Steer Hunter, Cannon or Homing Missile, so I'll stick for Skybeam for now, although I doubt I'll be able to get a short off. And then when you go into the multiplayer, as I say, you do get to choose all of your stuff that you've unlocked. You can choose a favourite weapon, you can choose teams or non-teams, so I'm going to go for the Shocker because I quite like that and as I say you can choose all your garage stuff so your mates can join in as well and they get access to everything you've unlocked and if you sign into a profile I believe that all saves because that's what that message was saying there if you don't sign into a profile it won't save but it doesn't really matter because I'm just playing for a review. And the multiplayer of the game is, as I say, where you're going to be spending most of your time. And this is where it's kind of like Micro Machines meets Crash Team Racing or Mario Kart. Because the whole point is, we've got a point system. And you've got to win any way possible. So you can nudge your opponent off the track like that. I've got a point, he lost a point. As soon as my bar fills, I win. You can blind them like that and uh, hope that they crash off themselves. Although, you've, when you use that, you've kind of got to know exactly where you are. Because that can screw you over too. You can outright destroy them with weapons if you want to, or knock them off, and it's just insane fun. It is one of the most fun games you will ever play multiplayer-wise. It's just like Mashed, only as I say, possibly even better. You've got some mad weapons like this ball and chain where you swing a ball behind you. So you've got defense and offense, and it's just amazing. Graphically, it looks great, and musically, it sounds great. So I'm just going to let you listen to a little bit. I'm blind, Deck! I'm blind! So there we go then, that's been the review, I hope you found it helpful. I don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion, so instead I'll leave you to make your own mind up. So thanks for watching and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid or that hasn't been answered in the comments then feel free to ask and I'll help if I can. Also if you did find it helpful don't forget to check out my channel because there's plenty more like this up there and don't forget to subscribe because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time this has been Demon212. Signing off.